I hope it. I hope it'll work. So I was I was reading on on the interwebs, uh, trying to ed- educate myself on some YouTubing, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, it says it says you know look most most people click off in the first thir- thirty seconds, and so like intros and and stuff shouldn't you know be a thing, which made me re- really sad because I like doing things the way I do them. And catching your attention in thirty seconds is like, I mean, I've got an eight eight year old. That shit's that shit's impossible. And and if you're not impressed by by my wonderful in- intro, I I don't know what what will impress you. I mean, look at this the thing. Welcome everybody to the anime anime versal reviews podcast with this glorious purple and blue uh, nebula that we we exist in here on the Genreverse Podcast Network, uh, part of the LRM Online family. Uh, go there, lrmonline.com, every day for all your entertainment news, needs, and and opinions. Uh, Genreverse Pod- Podcast Network is, ava- is available wherever you get your podcast your podcast from and on the YouTube channel, Genreverse uh, YouTube channel. Um, be sure to follow, subscribe, all that all that good stuff. Um, hopefully you, got, you guys stick around for more than uh the first 30 seconds because we got some really uh cool stuff to talk about the this week uh i'm kyle i'm kyle malone at that kyle malone on twitter joined uh by uh one of the people that should should be i swear to god she's alive people i promise (laughs) my my family can verify they have seen her on 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 video call but uh i'm here with uh Brian, not my my wife Christine, but Brian Brian Brantley uh, uh, does Pulp Mythos channel on on YouTube. Uh, what what's up, bud? Hey. So this this week we're we're reviewing uh, uh, Spy Family episode two, dude. I I gotta say I was a bit worried <laughs> about 10, 15 minutes in, into this episode. But but they sp- sprinkled in just enough uh, stuff for me to be like, okay, I- I'm still okay, I'm still good. And then the third act, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm still I'm still set on I'm set on this. The the car car chase and and alley battle, so much so much goodness. What what'd you think of the this week's episode? Yeah, it, it wasn't. I wasn't really having too many issues with it. I, I knew that they were you know having to set up this new character and um. I like the whole, you know, them presenting her and all of her, how she operates and lives her life and a little more world building with spy stuff. So mm-hmm. I was, I was pretty into it. I thought, the, I thought it was interesting that the kid was barely in the episode. I thought that was interesting. I, I think it'll be on Anya heavy again next, Prop, next week because yeah. c- we get mom, mom involved. I'm not saying it was, was bad. I'm just saying <laughs> It was a bit s- slower than I. It I was. was, yeah. That's- I, I, it was. It was very slow, and I. But I will say, and we'll get to it. It's because it's at the end. Yeah. There was one scene that sold the show, like it's the coolest scene ever, and yes, and yes, I'm sure is. you you know <laughs> what already, I'm talking about. We we were laughing so hard. I was like, um, I'm into this. Yes, ab- absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the the series has just got a, a great. Uh, hook to to it and this this episode delivers on it it is it is slow um and it it, it didn't make me worry for like the whole show worry about the this episode be being slow and it's like okay up ups and downs they, they're to be expected but but uh it it had enough stuff sp- sprinkled through throughout i love the the interaction with uh the in, the informant um what does anya call him like fuzzy hair man or something like that yeah. uh and and uh you know they're they're playing playing with the idea of having him play play dress up for for the wife part um i love a lot of the the spy stuff which we could talk talk about in a in a, in a minute um just a lot of little th- things are, are really cool in in this in this show and and i uh we'll we'll talk about uh yoru the uh wife wife character a bit uh as as well um I, I think they made a, a creative choice that I, I hope is only a one one off type thing and and that they don't do it, do it again. But um, what were what were you like favorite favorite parts of of this episode? So man, without spoiling any like uh, big details and, until the end, we'll do a little spoiler chat chat. The ending, um, the third <laughs> act was my favorite. I yeah, love I the um, the scene at the um, 
when they met when the, mm -hmm. the two lead characters met at the uh s s not seem sure uh, what would you call the Al alterations is yeah. what we call it in the military but there's another word for for it. anyways alteration that was shock. a strong scene i think the oddest thing about the episode was I get, I'm going to use the term Mean Girls. Oh, yeah. Because I mean that was sort of an underlying theme of the entire episode, yeah. is the relationship with these women at their work and just, just the cruelty of how they were treating each other. And um, there was a lot of that. <laughs> like, that was a big part of it. Um, but, um, but yeah, for the, like I said, I, um, for the most part, I thought it was, it was good. I, uh, I love the, the stuff at the alterate, at the alteration shop um anya you know oh my i'm i'm being sold off you know and and uh lloyd being like uh, if you behave behave you won't be sold sold off you know play playing around around with her but she's such an ador adorable character without be being too much she's not an e ewok yet she's not a poor yet but <laughs> she's as cute as those those things were were meant to be um without without being over overwhelming and when she starts he hearing you know both uh lloyd and and uh uh yoru t talking uh, or thinking to them to themselves she just gets m more ex excited about the idea of a an assassin mom so i love it when she starts like helping helping lloyd out by, yeah. say, by saying oh i'm i'm so lonely since <laughs> i don't have a mommy <laughs> my biggest concern going into the series was the, that character the little kid yeah. i'm like that could be annoying as hell and so far too in i think it's they've had the right tone um, yeah so far uh, absolutely absolutely and yeah man man that that scene there where uh little th things like he feels her come in and and go behind behind him yoru that it is uh lloyd senses her and he's shocked by it because he's he's one of those that's uh uh, uh hyper aware you know uh looking at exits and entrances and and always wanting to keep tabs on on people i can i can relate to to that uh not from spy stuff but any anyways um uh, I like that. I like that aspect, and her, her as well, getting in into uh, no noticing him, noticing her. Uh, that that whole scene plays out great, but you kind you kind of have to talk about Yo Yoru Yoru's character uh, herself because she's not she's not quite what I what I thought we would would meet from the. Uh, from from the trailers you know she's a little little naive but dead deadly <laughs> and uh you definitely get the idea idea that that she she might be in in the dark about a lot of things um there there's the scene where she's talking to her brother on the phone i noticed that cord was conveniently placed over his face in the in the picture so I I can already sense some, some uh, la layers to her char character, but uh, what what what's your take on Yoru and uh, her being kind of you know naive, not not necessarily fingers on the on the pulse? <laughs> yeah, I you know it's um I was really trying to figure her out, and there were a lot of times I was a little confused, and then I would oh, okay because for a moment like we we know of what job she has mm -hmm. <laughs> other than the real job and i first i thought it was sort of a, like a um front she didn't know well that she didn't know that she was doing these things ah i thought she was like programmed but then it made it pretty clear that that wasn't the case so i was like okay yeah okay because the way you know they they animated where her eyes would sort mm -hmm. of change and everything so i that's what was my first thought was, oh she's like a sleeper type yeah. agent thing and then it's like no that's not the case and they're like okay she, well she's knowledgeable about these things but then like you said in the end she has all these skills but yet she's still naive to obvious things so <laughs> yeah. i don't i don't know she's sort of right now i don't know how to take her as far as that like it's a little bit of both but as far as the the chemistry between the leads that was working for me yes absolutely absolutely um it's it's funny there at the at the party is is where you you figure out no she's she's not programmed because you and i had several of the same th thoughts and i even thought may, maybe the uh naivety 
naivete, whatever, whatever, fucking French. Uh, um, and I'm I'm the one who actually wants to uh, uh, like stop using the the f word in in these podcasts, and yet there there I go drop, dropping one. Um, <laughs> the uh, the the party scene where she she makes a comment about what she, you know, I could, you know, have all these people people disappear i love you know because i I did too i was like she's really thinking about (laughs) it i did too yes (laughs) yes she and she she even rational rationalizes it in in a in in a way for for her job her cup her cover but also she'd get a little little joy out of out of it uh I'm i'm really excited to see her her interact more with with lloyd and and anya um and and really man man it it's just all about th- them two with, with a little sprinkling of anya for for uh spy family episode two um yeah man i i kind of want to get in into some of the more spoilerish type type stuff so you want to take take the ad break right right now and then talk a little bit more more about the party and then the the big chase and yeah. and art rehi all right we'll we'll take a word from our our sponsors over at grow generation uh take it away. grow generation where the pros go to grow from propagation to harvest they have everything you need for your special garden grow generation serves customers across the nation and carries a wide inventory of renowned cultivation brands go to www.growgeneration.com where the pros go to grow Why? You have no idea the uh, how great it's it's been with just the the cuts for this uh, to to work with the video ingest situation with with you and I with you and I uh, it worked worked out a lot better just changing the whole setting to uh, cut <laughs> so I never ac- accidentally fa- fade in and out on the on this podcast uh, thank you Grow Generation for uh, sponsoring the show as as usual real. Really, really do appreciate it, guys. Make make sure you go uh, click on the link in the in the uh, description box or on the website if you're watching us on on there and uh, uh, check them out. So, spoilers. Hey, we're we're gonna say any anything and everything. So, thank thank you for for sticking with with us or c- coming back on another another day to hear our, our thoughts on all all of that. But Brian, that that um that party scene and the and the Mean Girls stuff, the whole I- idea. And you even the the idea that uh, spies one are are being found. Lloyd even mentions you know his pickings for for female agents to be the wife can't can't happen because of of some spies being t- turned in or or appre- apprehended. Um, and and these these lady ladies that Yoder works for at City Hall really, really treating her her like crap, threaten threaten to have her you know picked up like. There, there was quite a bit of world world build, building there, and and stuff that again harkens back to our very very real uh, uh, post World War Berlin, Germany, and and Cold Cold War. I know you and I both eat this eat this shit up, man. What what's your thoughts on y- Yoru and the the char- characters and that that like you know situation? Well, yeah, just uh, that there's so many spies around, and there there's so much stuff happening that, like you said, people are being rounded up. We learn she's a she's an assassin. We don't know the details of what, what, who, why. I'm sure that's going to play a big role as time goes on. Even little things like um, I can call him Twilight. Um, he has a photographic memory. Uh, mm-hmm. There was an amazing scene where he well he'd been going through all these files, and then when he sees her, he's able to in his mind remember every single file, find her, and then know everything in the profile. That was mm-hmm. that was a cool scene. I was like, oh shit. You know he he can he can do that. Um, yeah, I, I love all that kind of stuff. You know, I love, you know, I'm I'm all for it. I f- I found Ca- Camilla the the blonde. I I'm sorry sorry. I had I I got to read this because I I didn't catch her name at for, first, and I was just I just wrote the blonde bitch. Um, uh, Ca- Camilla the the main mean, mean girl, if you will. Um, I love the I love the scene where with the. Uh, at the party with the food tray, you know, after Lloyd shows up bloody and stuff, and we'll talk about why he was bloody in a, in a second. I love him showing up and, and playing it off, you know, you know. Um, but uh, the food tray inc- incident and Yoru ca- catching it with her foot and stuff, like not too afraid to sh- show off some of her s- skills. 
I thought I thought that was that was hilarious. Um, I love the uh, the com comment Lloyd makes about you know, great not wasting food, but did you did you have to use your feet? <laughs> the show build builds in nice little funny moments like like that that are fitting with, and don't take you out of out of the situation. I I love that. Um, Lloyd's art reverse heist. Three th things that I, I really loved about the, this episode's kind of like spice stuff. One, uh, the informant, I can't remember his, his name, uh, the, the dude with the fuzzy yeah. hair, as Anya says, or Afro looking ha hair. Um, uh, him being like, well, you know, what, what's in it for, for, for me? I'm, I'm just an informant. And then there's, oh, I'll, you could, you could have one of the art art pieces or so, something go missing and and use that for for your your bills and he's he's all all about that too the uh the cipher that's dropped by the cashier at the at the grocery store rivet like that was so so cool you know to kind of drop drop things in uh for for twilight there there and i'm i'm sorry but i man managed to brain dump the third so brian spy spy stuff <laughs> um geez yeah um the the ending i so one of the things that i kept thinking about especially in that first scene when all the women were introduced was mm -hmm. i bet there's another spy yeah. or, or agent so that, that was something i was really paying attention to i was looking at the way they were acting at the at the party and i'm like i bet there's the layers to who works for who and, and how things play out the assassination thing was interesting because you know, after she had done it, she has no, um, it's just a job. Like it, there's mm -hmm. no, it doesn't bother her. There's no remorse. There's no, she's trying to clean her weapons it's and just, stuff. It's just part of the job. You know, another episode, you know, the second episode now where life is cheap in some way, you know, between these characters, you know, they, they have a task to complete. And if it involves killing people, oh, well, yeah. So I thought that was interesting. Um, yeah the the spy thing uh or not spy thing the uh the assassination thing and i realized i didn't write down enough freaking time stamps oh oh well the assassination thing is the one creative choice i said i i think i know why they they don't show her killing a lot mm -hmm. you know you you see some some doors break in uh uh, you see her, you know, throw a, a blade into someone and they show blood and stuff. And that's, that's cool. I, and then you see the lights go, go out and then there's, there's dead bodies. Um, I think they kind of did that, you know, creatively may, maybe to save money, but uh, get, given some of the action stuff we saw, uh, last episode and at the very end of this episode, um, I'm really hoping, and I think we see some in the tra trailer, but I really am hoping for some really, really good uh, assassination, you know, scenes with with her, um, not just the a the after effects. What well, what'd you think about how they kind of cut it? Yeah, like where you basically just get the aftermath um, of the bloody mess. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think a whole lot about it. Um, you know, maybe the thinking was either, like you said, to save money or to. It's like, well, we don't want her to be a complete monster. <laughs> like, you not know, yet. Yeah, because it's like, okay, she's on this mission. She's killing this guy. We don't know what he did. We don't know why she's killing him. And she's going to kill every single person in that room, which she does. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's like we've we've not been shown that these were bad guys. Okay, yeah, and yet she's killing that. them all. <laughs> it's like, well. And that that might play play into the whole thing where the side that they're working for may maybe isn't the best side or, or something like that. So like, like I said, I found it in interesting. Did, did you catch the part during the, the phone call with her brother, the cord over his, his face on the picture? No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She, they go to a picture, you know, clearly trying to make it connect. It's her standing next to him in, in the picture. And he, his face is his whole, almost his whole body other than the, the the uh general outline of the the side to show that it's it's a male uh it, it was obvious to to me that they were trying to hi hide it and if they're not that that was that's a sick sick trick oh they probably yeah. are I, like I said, yeah the, just the just two episodes in i i have a feeling that it, there's a lot more 
going mm-hmm. on. You know, we're ju- we're just basically getting introduced to the characters, and there's this one mission, and I bet this mission is, you know, tiny compared to what yeah what it becomes. Um, just based on how many episodes there's gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> right, like, right. I know. Uh, uh, eventually, twenty, twenty five, twenty four, twenty twenty five. Um, if the interwebs are to be, uh, to be believed. Uh, so let, let's talk, talk a bit about the, uh, the big final, you know, uh, uh, chase and everything after Lloyd shows up, uh, after Lloyd goes on, on this, you know, reverse art, art heist to, to end this smuggling ring, uh, showing up bloody, his excuse, you know, my, my patient, you know, he's a faking as a psychiatrist. My, my patient got, got, uh, got violent i mean as as far as like ex- excuses go eh, that's pretty de- pretty decent Qu- quick thing quick thinking um but i i love i love the chase scene and in, in the alley I, I like how he he's trying to keep the 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 gag go going that i'm a psychiatrist you know like should you have, she asked should you have hit your patient he's like oh the I forget what he calls it, but like the concussion treat treatment is all the, all the rage these, these days. And, and, uh, um, it's, so, it's so wonderfully a- animated, but it's, it's at the end for, for me when, when she's like, you know, Hey, uh, why don't we just go, go ahead and get married? And he's like, well, shit, this is, you know, get gift, gift horse. This is what I, I wanted to begin to begin with. And he had, he had taken that ring that ring from from the uh uh smugglers and uh he was going to give it to her lo- loses it grabs the fucking hand grenade <laughs> yes. and then this is the scene and and the chem- chemistry and and the writing and 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 the 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 tone all co- comes together pops the the damn pen throw throws the gr- grenade and uses the pen ring as the as the uh, proposal uh, engagement, I love that it. whole sequence, and especially that that was so Lupin, like just the yeah. vibe of it, like <laughs> the the fact that he's lying to her the whole time about what's happening. They're working together, fighting off these guys, and yet yeah, leading to mm-hmm. him using a grenade pin. That was the oh. moment where I'm like, okay, yeah. <laughs> And I, I love when it when it explodes and a piece of clothing <laughs> comes over and disintegr- disintegrates in front of the cam camera just to kind of reinforce. Yeah, that that was a real grenade. Those people are dead. <laughs> yeah. I I couldn't I couldn't stop laughing. I I really couldn't. I I found it to be such a such a treat the opening credits we didn't talk about that no but we we absolutely uh uh should um i happened to discover official hedonism i think that's the na- name of the band um by by accident a few days ago i didn't even know they were going to do the the op for for this show um they're a cool bit band i'll let you hear some some of them after we're done done recording excuse me uh because i would like for this to you know go go up without any issues um and uh then i i heard the the op saw their their name in it i what do you what do you think about it i liked it um i like the it's funny because it it it's very reflective of what this show is it's like Mm -hmm. okay on the one hand we got the really cool animated like action stuff the music fits perfectly but then on the other hand no it's sort of almost like a sitcom it's a a happy family Mm -hmm. you know uh thing and then it cuts back and forth i it to me it very well represents what the show seems to be going for so the 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 uh art i i love the song switches yeah yes i love that as aspect we kind of get you know um uh twilight lloyd and then we get the cartoony stuff and then there's some assassin yoru uh things thrown thrown in there uh all with this cute chibi anya type character uh drawing going going through i love the aesthetic the song's fine i like i like the band i like the bass line through it um, I kind of wish they had, and th- this is like the the music geek in me. I kind of, I would have re-leveled that song some. <laughs> some of the in- instruments in in the foreground are really covering up that bass bass line, and for for both the the like uh, setting and mu- musical aesthetic, I think that 
bass and may maybe the dr drum should have been layered a, a bit different but that's that's me nit nitpicking <laughs> yeah Brian, like, shut the fuck up He's like, who do you who do you think you who do you think you are toby jones <laughs> Oh, la ladies and ge gentlemen, uh, let let me assure you, probably no no greater musical talent talent unrealized for this war world than our mu mutual friend to Toby Jones, uh, who is actually in need need of a kidney. And if you you've ever considered uh, doing do donations, I'll put a, a link in in the. Um, in the description box down below he does the uh or he was in in the band that provides the music for our uh cantina po podcast uh my day at the races amongst uh, several other um famous clark's Ve vegas bands um but yeah anyways that that's the op brian yeah. <laughs> anything uh anything else on on uh spy family episode two no no, yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Uh, so what? What's uh, what do we got go going on in in other anime may stuff? Uh, last week we mentioned the um, Suzume trailer, so don't need to talk about that again. <sighs> what did I? Oh, that that one show. Uh, Christine and I were were watching. Um, as I'm trying to get this thing to load, there we go. Uh, the uh, uh, trapped in a in a dating sim so i i told you that it, it had p potential right yep. it was that uh that that one has got a banging op and i can't wait for for the that song to be uh be released in in full on the 27th but third episode came out we're about to have a a one-on-one -on -one time times five so he's he's challenging the the like prince and his and his uh cadre or whatever uh to mech fight so we're about to get our, our first mech mech fight in this in this show show and a hundred percent sure enough that that theory i had about you know whether or not he's the only only one that that knows where where he is was was answered in this this episode so it's it's made it past three three episodes <laughs> it's it's still not the best lo looking anime on on earth but uh i don't know man i i feel like it by next episode so i'll know for sure whether or not it's going to have a like a great turn or if it's just going to be one of those cool i'm happy i won't watched it but uh it, it was pretty interesting um and then christine and i watched dude i i can't even i think we are now on eight eight sh shows <laughs> that we're watching <laughs> Thank, thankfully, one of the one of them, uh, Kaguya Sama, Love is War, is on its second season. So we've got a season of that to watch, binge or what, whatever. I, I was doing some uh, 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 clip work for for the show and happened to go back through some uh, anime that kind of let it, let us hear. People have heard us talk about dr stone uh many many times but man, man i i went through my like my list and everything thing and i'm just the the amount the the amount of anime may i've watched in the last two years almost three three now is in, insane like like i i remember i remember uh what it was like to to get introduced to new to new sh shows to go to to uh, uh, Blockbuster or, or Hastings when when you and I were in high school and stuff, and and getting e exposed to new things because Toonami only offered so so much, um, and then I I remember kind of getting j jaded to where it was like I don't want to watch any anything unless it's unless it's going to give me like Full Metal Alchemist level you know inter entertainment, and it it's kind of sh shocking on on how much uh stuff i missed out on on kind of being too too cool for school too too elite it's not that full metal alchemist is the great greatest thing i've ever watched or anything but you know i wanted that exper experience again and and now he here i am willing to to watch straight trash <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy it like but at the same time this 
uh, this has brought us Megalo Box Season Two. It's brought us uh, where words bubble up like so soda pop. Brought us fucking Grid Gridman X uh, Dino Xenon as every I, I say Xenon because Xeon process and and the I know the Japanese vowels and stuff. But uh, Dino Xenon and and Gridman Gridman and the funniest thing, dude, dude about it all, uh, what actually brought brought it all on was me being in in the emergency room again in 2019 and seeing a, a tsunami commercial for dr stone <laughs> and it just stuck in the back of my my ma my mind and until i was on funimation one one day and i was using funimation to watch dragon dragon ball super i think and i saw the dr stone thing and i was just like you know what let's see what's it what it's about <laughs> Isn't it isn't it cra crazy man just the the right time right right place things that, oh, that yeah. happen you Definitely. know or how they'll impact your life you see one <laughs> little thing and it's literally yeah, become a big part of your life over the last several years yeah you know my relationship with anime like you said it's it's gone up and down over the years there have been periods where i just wasn't really tracking or maybe i'd watch one thing and then periods where it's like oh i'm watching something consistently um but it's always since i can remember roughly it's always been a part of my life in some degree i had to ver i had to verify with my my parent my parents but um because you know people always ask well what's your first an anime i i have to be on honest it was voltron whether people want to accept our you know, bastardized version of Go Lion as anime or not, it is. And and Ro Robotech was was not too far was not too far after after that. I saw Vol Voltron before I saw Star Wars. I have memories of Voltron going back to to Germany, uh, and I don't remember Star Wars until Lewis uh, Fort Lewis the second time. Um. When Courtney was, my sister was born, uh, so like anim, anime is, is like right there. And, and that conversation had come up with, uh, uh, the cant the cantina last week. Cause dude, we're going to get more star Wars visions. <laughs> There's some anime new yeah. news to be happy about, uh, and the, po the potential for continuations. Yes. Uh, so, so that was a big, big deal, dude, like anime and, and, and star Wars, but, uh, I guess the best the the best thing, especially the uh, uh, streaming services have offered, besides legality, um, <laughs> is well, once again getting able to expose myself to so much much more. Because, like like you said, man, man we're covering a, a ser series that we we really haven't done this this genre here on the on the podcast before. Yeah, and it, it's it's been great. It's been great, man. And and. and yeah, just kind of ram rambling on about that. <laughs> uh, it's almost like I I, I uh, did something with medicine in it. <laughs> 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 Anyways, guys, uh, I'll be d done with it. Hey, Brian. Any anything else you you wanted to ramble on on about? No. I thought you were gonna. What? Thought that was gonna segue into your sponsor. Uh, we already did. Oh, okay, <laughs> grow gener generation with the pros go. Go go to grow, uh, ab absolutely. Um, but this this came from the dispensary, yeah. so we're we're not allowed to to uh, take it to oils. We can grow, but we we can't make our own own oils. Uh, anyways, guys, what we can do is plug ourselves, and there's nothing I like more than plugging myself. Anyways, check check out the Genreverse Podcast Network where uh, wherever you get your podcast from, Google, Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple. We're we're every we're everywhere uh great shows like uh uh breaking geek radio the podcast um they cover a little bit of everything usually every every week they do at least one movie movie review uh check out their their thoughts on the secrets of D dumbledore uh <laughs> and watch jammer slowly try try to justify keeping this this movie ab above morbius while continuous anyways watch, watch. it's great I won't have to listen it's to great it's it's hilarious <laughs> uh uh we have the canty the cantina does star wars news and in in may will be uh will be um 
uh, re- reviewing Obi Wan Kenobi. Why is it every every week, week? I have trouble <laughs> saying can't say Obi Wan. It scares the sh- it scares yeah. me. <laughs> it's it's so scary. <laughs> They they can mess so much they can mess so much up. Uh, Marvel Multiverse Mayhem doing Moon Knight, which is which is great, and all of those are available o- over on our our YouTube channel. Um, and I also do uh, uh, trailer reactions. Uh, I call them genre shots, genre ver- verse. Get it? Aren't aren't I funny? Um, but check check that out. Hit the red subscribe b- button, and then type in Pulp Mythos, which is Brian's channel. Talk about that, bro. Uh, yeah, talk, talk about shows like we'll be doing uh, The Flight Attendant coming up here this week and then uh, Barry next week. Also, uh, Snowfall, great show. So check it out. Yeah, do that. that, And then, of course, head over to uh, to LRMOnline.com every day for all of your entertainment. Look, there's the cantina. All your entertainment news needs and, and opinions. Uh, news aggregation, so taking stuff from, from all over, put helping put things with our own uh, ideas and thought thoughts in, into those pieces uh, all in one, one place uh, along with the, the podcasts and, and uh, uh, scoops leaks that, that we, we find that we can back, back up. Okay. Occasionally we have our own uh, little, little scoop to to die, to divulge uh, the, the podcast reviews, all sorts of stuff, guys the sites been around for 20 years. So yeah, check, check, check it all out. That, that's it um i mean i i i'm not animated out out but i'm i'm done for the sh- show so we'll talk to you next next time guys bye <laughs>